Today, I've got five Illustrator quick tips to speed up your workflow. Let's go. All right, this first tip allows you to quickly paste something across all of your artboards. Just press Command, Option, Shift, and V, and it'll paste itself across all artboards in the same spot. Tip number two, how to change swatch colors without expanding your object. Just open your swatch panel, find the swatch that you want to change the colors of, and double click it. Now you'll have access to where you can edit the pattern tile. Then you can just select your artwork and change it to whatever color you need. Press escape to go back to your artboards. Tip number three, the live paint tool. You can quickly fill in the colors of an object as long as each piece is separated by an outline. Just select your artwork and press K for the live paint tool. You'll see your tool change, then you want to select a color that you want to start filling with. Now just click on your object and it will make it a live paint group. Then you can just start clicking wherever you need to fill in your colors. Select a new color from your swatches and you can fill in any section that you need to. If you press Command H, it will hide your outlines so that you can see exactly where you need to fill things in. And here you can see it only lets you fill in things that are actually closed shapes. It will not allow me to fill in this part right here that's open. If you're having trouble filling in shapes, make sure that the tiny little cursor point on your live paint tool is what is actually hovering over the section that you want to fill. Tip number four, adjust your center point. When changing the size of objects using the scale tool by pressing the letter S, you'll see that a little center point pops up right in the middle. And then whenever you scale, it actually adjusts from that center point. But you can change this by pressing S and then clicking somewhere else on your artwork. And then when you scale from there, you'll see that your artwork is now bound to the new center point. Tip number five, color mode settings. If you try using transparency modes like you do in Photoshop and it's not looking right, just go up to File, Document Color Mode, and change it to RGB. You'll see these transparency effects change immediately and they'll look much more similar to how they do in Photoshop. All right, these tricks should help you speed up your workflow. And if you want to see some of my favorite shortcuts to speed up my workflow, watch this video. All right, guys, that's it. We'll catch you on the next one.